three we've got that we picked from Rose Copper. Because it's um, just three. <laughs> About 90 mile an hour. <laughs> oh, what's that in the back of it? Ah, don't go in the grass. All right, let's see what we've got on here. Let's see what we can do. We're reading 33 on there. All right, let's reset that. And let's just making sure everything was reading on the signal. Zero out, miles per hour. Let's see what we can do. Success pass, stock motor. 
stock pinion. Sorry, stock uh, spur gear, stock motor, stock ESC. 4S pass, 6S pass on the next one, guys. My bad. <laughs> 4S pass. For this car to go past it's not a good road really but we'll have a go Alright, here we go. Nah, it's not going to work guys. The camber in the road is going to cause the car to pull. So we're going to have to get ourselves a flat road. Yeah, the camber in the road is no good guys. It's definitely going to cause the car to want to pull left or right. So uh, let's go find ourselves a nice road. Ah, uh, yeah, not good, guys. I only got 50, uh, one out of that. So, yeah, I'm not even going to try and um, push it. Where is he? So I'm sure I can show you that. 51 in there, guys. It's not, it's just 51, but yeah. All right, there we are, guys. Going to have a quick 4S run. We're still running a 34 pinion, stock spur, stock ESC, stock motor. Just gonna have a little blast. Zeroed out. Let's have a quick run. It's not a long roll, guys. I'm just uh, checking my. Uh, Didn't push too hard, guys. Just making sure he's going to pull straight and everything. We'll try going a bit harder now. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Go on. It's not too bad. Still a bit nervous on this roll, guys, because I really would love to not have corners at the end of my run. You know, it makes me feel nervous when there's a corner, guys, at the end of the run. I can't, I'm not just, you know, it just makes me feel nervous, guys. But uh, let's have a look what we got in there. I think it says 64 on there. Let's have a look. So we got 64, guys. So, yeah, we had 66 last time out. So 64, that's not too bad. I mean, I did have a little run somewhere else, you know. Hasn't took too much juice out of the battery, but we'll go again. It wasn't too bad. Okay, let's do this success. Let's just get this reset. And 
recording, set to peak speed, miles per hour. Success pass, guys. We'll see what we can do. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's pulling. It's a bit... Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, it's pulling slightly to the right when I was under power. Right. Just driving on the road is quiet. Sorry? Work. I don't work here, I'm just driving, it's quiet. Why? Is this private road? Ah, oh, is it? Oh, I didn't know, brother. I thought it was just normal free road and it because it's quiet and it there's no cars, you know, and I'm not nobody's at work, I'm not causing no trouble, I'm not damaging nothing. Is that what they said? Ah, uh, but I'm not causing no I'm trouble, brother. No, I know it's not you, brother. You have yeah. to do your job. Yeah, but it's because, you know, it's very hard to find somewhere, you know, it's yeah. nice, quiet. Birmingham GT RCs here. As you can see, got a few upgrades on the table. So, uh, yeah, as you guys probably saw, I uh, tried to uh, have a few attempts at a speed run and so forth. And yeah, I got shut down, guys. They're not letting me use that road. It wasn't long enough, but it was smooth. I mean, I did also as well go back to my original road and just tune my buggy up, really. I could just see what was up with, you know, why it was kicking so much when I was going into the power. But, you know, guys, it's just me, really, in my driving. I'd say bad driving, really. I'm just going too hard on the power, guys. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not used to pushing buggies this quick and, you know, the power and everything when you're gearing it up. So I guess when, what I was used to doing, you know, and how I was used to going into the power, you know, doing that on 6S, yeah, the, you know, if you're going too hard, it's going to kick, you know, the back end's going to spin out a bit here and there. I can make a few little bit more tweaks and adjustments to try and, you know, get it all flowing nice. And that's basically what I was doing at my uh, original road. So, and just getting a feel for launching it into a run, you know, getting it smooth into a run where the car's just going to run straight. And it was just practicing, really, getting it off the line and getting it going and into a nice run, you know. So, like, doing, like, half a run and then backing out once I realised, you know, the point where I need to really, you know, the speed, I need to go into the power and everything. So, yeah, now I've had a little feel for it. Yeah, it's not so easy to go full throttle, you know, it was spinning the wheels, guys. You know, for a stock setup, it's doing all right, man. You know, it's putting out a bit... You know, it quite easily will spin the wheels and that, you know what I mean? If you go too hard in the power. So I'm impressed with this motor. It did cog a little bit on me a few times. And I'm assuming because I was on a very flat road, there's a lot of grip, you know, so the motor was being put to work. And it was just cogging a little bit, just from time to time it cogged a bit. You know, um, it wasn't doing it all the time. So it's at that point now where it might start to cog a bit on the motor. So um, we're going to have one more shot at getting this motor to 90 mile an hour and uh maybe we'll get it to 100 you know we'll see how it goes if it, if it starts cogging too bad and stuff like that then we'll swap out the motor in esc i've already got a motor uh i've just got to get my esc i've already got the motor sorted i've got a um new servo as well you know and as you can see now guys i've got the uh armor limitless spool to go in there you see i've got a 29 tooth and a 34 tooth and i've got all your bits to put it together I've got a Yao Racing dual fan to go in there. So we'll get that in there too. And I've got a motor mount to go in the middle as well. I'm not too sure about that. It looks small. It does look small, so it probably won't fit. It's probably for the V3 versions and so forth, and not the V4. I'm not sure if the, that part is the same or not. But we'll soon find out, guys, and we'll see if we can get it fitted. If not, we'll keep the plastic one in there, and, and um, I'll keep shopping for the right one. 
So uh, yeah, let's get this all fitted up. And there you have it guys. Got my spool fitted. Got a 34 tooth spur gear on there. I've got this armor limitless spool fitted. And I'm running in there at the moment is a 28 tooth pinion. So 28 tooth pinion and a 34 tooth spur. Got my fans fitted in. I've got a battery coming to run my fan so I don't run it on my uh, receiver. The receiver's giving out too much volts for what these fans say it can take. These fans can take 2S. My hobby wing could handle 3S. So when I plug these fans into this receiver, these fans sound like they're doing overtime. So I don't really want to run them like that. So I've got a 2S uh, LiPo coming, which I'm going to run these fans on. And that's it really. Uh, just still waiting on my uh, servo to come. Waiting on my top brace to come. Hot racing. Uh, on the lookout for a metal brace here. Uh, apart from that guys, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. So there you have it. We're ready for a high speed run. 90 plus mile an hour. Or even we might break 100 mile an hour on this gearing, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. I'm definitely looking at getting over 90 plus mile an hour. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. The next one's going to be a high speed run. Like and subscribe. You know what to do. Stay tuned. Peace.